and welcome back to my channel welcome welcome if you're new here hi i'm name we talk about all things looking good feeling good and smelling good so if any or all of that sounds interesting to you just go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fam today we have a mini unboxing um we like to look good feel good and smell good at prices that are actually um affordable for the masses i feel like affordable for us regular regular people so i i mean i do of course have some fragrances that are name brand fragrances but I, a lot a very large portion of my collection are dupe fragrances um from various dupe houses uh such as juliana's dua dossier um al Hermain, etc 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 so in today's video we have an unboxing of two different brands of dupe houses uh the one i actually don't have i've never had a fragrance from them before and the other one is one that i have a little collection of so let's hop right into it this is from juliana's perfume i have um ordered a full size and then two sample sizes one of my sample sizes from my last order was almost done, so that kind of sucked because I did end up paying for them. At a discounted price, yes, but I still put money on it, so I do expect you say this is what I'm going to get. That is actually what I get. So that kind of annoyed me. But let's go and do the mini sizes first. The first one is The Village. What's cool is they do have this QR code. I guess you can just scan and bring up the website and the website will automatically bring up the, the fragrance that you're scanning for. Why am I struggling with this? Okay, here we go. Okay, as of right now, it looks like this one is not leaked. I believe the village is there to for Greenwich Village by bond number nine, which is supposed to be like a similar essence to like a Baccarat Rouge somewhat DNA off of the top of my memory. They do have the Notier Lychee Cassis Mandarin Orange, Peony, Water Lily, Jasmine, Praline, Vanilla and Roxanne, Musk and Oak Moss. I think that doesn't really sound like the DNA of Baccarat, but that's fine. Oh, no, definitely the DNA. It's not exact. Right? But it definitely has that wispy, airy type of quality to it. Now, bond number nine is quite expensive. I know people have said, like, oh, you can find it heavily discounted at, like, online and stuff. And that is, in fact, true. You can most definitely find... Um, uh, quite a few different brands, especially the higher ends online at discounted prices. But I've noticed, and this is just my humble opinion, I've noticed myself that even with this uh, quote-unquote heavy discount, it's still quite expensive. Um, if a fragrance retails $400 and they take off $100, that is pretty reasonably discounted, but it's still a lot of freaking money. Um, so it just really depends on how serious you are about having the specific brand scent, especially nowadays where dupe houses are duping every freaking thing. If one dupe house doesn't have it, another probably does. Um, brands like Dua have a whole Beauty and the Beast library of fragrances. Um, I mean, there's so many dupe houses. Al Harmain, Mason Alhambra, whatever, uh, has a lot of dupes. This smells really good. I've smelt most of these fragrances in store off my memory it does have that baccarat which have 40 dna i don't know what the originals of the original greenwich village are is or are um but those just didn't sound like they were gonna exactly be the exact dupe but it smells very good it definitely has that wispy airiness about it like it's in wisps like it comes and then goes and then comes back into your face i enjoy that dna i just don't enjoy it enough to wear it by itself for me to okay purchasing um a Baccarat Rouge 540 bottle as of right now because I do actually have a few of the 1.2 fluid ounces of of uh, MFK bottles 
So this one is The Village. Let's see if I can find that for you. With artistic flair that The Village gleefully commemorates the artists and intellectuals, free spirits and philosophers that brought acclaim to the popular New York City district, ushering in a historic storybook vibe with crazy amounts of charm. It's nice. It's, um, they have, when you read these, they always get very far into what it is about. And if you know anything about Bond Number Nine, 9, they name all the stuff off city, it's New York and all that stuff. And it's really nice. The bottles of Bond Number 9 are absolutely gorgeous. But if you can't afford that, I think this is a pretty good dupe. I think if you can say it's about an 85% or higher dupe, it's well worth whatever the pricing is. Julian's perfume is a higher price point for dupes, but it's still well below the expensive ones. So yeah, that's the village. I like this. I'll definitely be using this. The next one I got was um Simply Gorgeous, which is their dupe for beige. This is one I actually don't think I have smelt um, in person, but the notes sound interesting and I wanted to try it out. Like this one didn't leak either. Thank goodness. Good stuff. This is Frangipani, Hawthorne, Honey, and Freesia. So it doesn't really have much notes. And I don't really hear a lot of people talk about it. And I feel like I've reached a point of my fragrance journey where I want to start expanding outside of things and I take notes a little less seriously because you can say there's like 50 notes in something or two or three notes in something that you just know you're not going to like and then you end up loving that fragrance anyway because note, those notes are just not prominent to your nose. So get decants when you can. The best thing is if you get smaller for three ninety nine in the store. But if not, decant. This is bearing like garbage. Whatever. Okay, so here's the thing about Freesia. I like this and I don't at the same time. Freesia sometimes gives me a headache. It, something in it is just, it's almost too, like, sharp. And I'm smelling hella Freesia in this. So, in the picture... When Juliana Perfume posts like their website, you can go look it up. Juliana Perfume, Juliana's Perfume.com. They show some of the notes around the bottle. And you do see the freesia. But then you also see the frangipani and you see the honey. And the honey's in the front. So I wonder if on my skin it's gonna be less freesia. It smells like a soap right now to me almost like a sharp soup at the 30 minute mark elegant bouquets of delicate frangipani and aromatic freesia radiate from your skin like a perfect summer vacation an uncomplicated yet profoundly addictive character simply gorgeous's radiant charm will have you and everyone longing for more yeah this smells like soap right now to me oh i'm gonna stop smelling that because i'm getting a headache actually i'm gonna try it on my skin one day um Or I fully say, oh no, this is a no for me. But as of right now, I'm definitely not a big fan. I'm not smelling enough of the honey. There is something that's a little, I can't even smell it again, but it's just a little more, what's the word? Like soap, almost like milky about it. Like the soap is like a bar of like dove. So it's got like that almost creamy, milky kind of vibe that's very lovely. Um, I don't really smell any sweetness, and honey is supposed to be in, oh, on the hard notes. Okay, so. I'll keep trying that one, but it's not a thing right now for me. It says fresh, charming, and gentle. It's very fresh smelling, like I said, soap, but I wouldn't say it's gentle. It's definitely very sharp in my head right here, that pain just now. But anyway, oh my gosh, now I smell the soap on my hands, which actually doesn't smell as sharp on my hands. I don't really mind soapy fragrance, to be, to be honest, but I don't really reach for them. So most of my collection, I, I only have a few soapy-esque clean girl type vibe fragrances just because i just bathe like twice two to three times a day so like i don't really need the to overdo the clean smell because i'm clean so for me I'm, I'm trying to smell like something whether that's sunscreen or um coconut or vanilla cherry like bergamot lemon zesty i want to smell like something um 
not just cleanliness or detergent most of the time you know what i mean i do have a quite a few creams that have a clean vibe to them that i don't mind layering with my fragrances but just that pure clean smoky not smoky pure clean smell it, i mean it's just not something i go and willing to drop 70 80 90 100 dollars for when i can just get my dove bar soaps for 10 15 dollars for like 10 of them you know so let's talk about the main character in this video they released julian perfum perfume released like four fragrances in the matter of like a week and a half it was amazing um so i had to hop on this one super excited i actually recently got the pleasure of being able to smell the original in store on accident i wasn't even looking for it but it was there and i said oh let me smell this again because I, I kind of blind bought well i sort of but sort of didn't really blind buy it so i did get smell this like um maybe a year ago the original of it and i thought um i thought it was nice uh some people say this particular fragrance leans a little masculine so they don't like it i remembered liking it i just killian that price point that killian offers up is so ridiculous in terms of just like everyday people purchasing it and i don't think their fragrance are fragrances are particularly beastly or even if it's not beastly projecting at least beastly in longevity i don't really see that so the price point for me just doesn't make sense um at all at all killian is like tom ford and their pricing is just disgusting i do have a couple tom ford but it's just not something i would collect a bunch of because the price is disgusting anyway let's go down to this I, I, that was my little rant for for the day this is apple rum delight this is juliana's dupe for apple brandy on the rocks y'all let's smell it because like i said i just i just um smelled this in a sephora so this is cardamom bergamot apple rum brandy pineapple vanilla moss ambroxan and cedar and this retails for 70 dollars about 75 on julia because you do have to pay most of the time for um shipping the thing about the original it's very cool like a cool cool smell like it's iced so they say on the rocks and that makes sense whatever they used in here to give that cool sensation it's definitely there there's a spice quality not like a spicy spiced as in like the uh spices to make this sweet, a sweeter fresher smell while still giving a slight like a boozy touch for sure right now i'm getting more pineapple than i got in the original i feel like i didn't smell any pineapple in the original but i definitely smell the apple it's like a fresh crisp very realistic type of apple i smell the brandy i don't smell the cardamom as much as in the original very fresh very pretty with while also being masculine at the same time like there's something very unisex about this I guess because there's not too much, but I'm definitely smelling. It says along with a barely detect detectable note of pineapple, but the pineapple is, is is heavy right now on my skin. Okay, it's starting to fade a little bit. This is very lovely. I'm gonna say this is about an 85% dupe. If I had them back to back, I might have a difference of opinion, but I definitely could tell point out immediate differences between the two. Maybe 88%, which is still enough for me to think that this is worth it especially if i let this sit a little longer there is vanilla in here and i feel like any fragrance has like a boozy note in it can just get boozier over time i think the cardamom oh no here it is this is lovely i think the moss also makes people feel like it's it's a little more on the masculine side i don't mind that moss and patchouli and any woody notes either like i kind of think it adds like sex appeal to it or fragrance now on my skin i didn't 
and I had sprayed the fragrance on my skin. I didn't think it was a, a boomer or major projector. Maybe if I over, 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 over spray it, which I have no problem doing it, doing that, um, it maybe it'll project, but the bubbles a little bit more on the intimate side. Somehow they took the boozy note and a vanilla note and made it soft enough for summertime niceness. I love a good boozy fragrance. I love a good boozy fragrance. So something distinctly grown and sexy about that. Vanilla is always, I really don't think you can go wrong with vanilla. Vanilla is a note that I feel like is universally liked by many, right? Doesn't matter what gender you are or what gender you, or sex or whatever that you claim. Vanilla, for the most part, a lot of people do tend to like it. I think there's something to say about the fact that Juliana made me be able to smell the pineapple because I, there's a tartness in pineapple, right? Think like the lychee or like, um, yeah, that's what I get. Like there's a tartness to it, um, rhubarb, that is interesting and it lends an interesting and different touch to perfumes. And I kind of like that I can smell that. Go ahead and hit the like button if you agree. Have you smelled apple brandy on the rocks? Do you think it's worth the price tag? Let's look up the price tag real quick just to put a little ooh la la what the actual is going on. But I, I feel like it's like 270. Let me stop before I say something that's not right. But I feel like it's high apple. This retails for $245. And then this is retailing for $75, which is including the shipping. And it's also 1.5. So, yes, the bottle is probably half of the price hike, right? They put in a very beautiful bottle, just like, you know, a lot of the Killian bottles. Love that. So, you have to kind of decide if that's worth that price tag. And also the name, right? A brand name also jumps something up like 30 40 percent which is insane uh next one is this little one right here i finally got a hold of a dapper fragrance let's see what they sent me they sent me two samples no they did oh this is so hilarious because i literally put in my Instagram, if you're not following me there, go ahead and follow me. It's Mrs. Goddess Nay. I literally put the next one, if I like this, will be a House of Siage Hufflepuff because I've been very interested to get my nose on this one. And House of Siage does not feel like they just have to be in any freaking stores for people to smell them, which is so weird to me. My grandmother just called me. She should be great grandmothering so hard. Anyway so um this is awesome so i'm gonna this one i didn't even know was a thing or maybe i did and i just forgot the name so sol de janeiro janeiro um released bikini season so they gave me a sample of that which is uh guava nectar sunlit orchid vanilla cloud coconut water this sounds it's in, this sounds lovely this sounds lovely. I'm a little surprised they even released this because the sprays are really not expensive. So you can get a three point a three fluid ounce, 80 ml, 90 ml, I don't know, for $25. So oh, it's out of stock in limited edition. Out of stock. Oh, so maybe that this is actually smart on their part. Okay. This is definitely a super juicy, sweet. Oh, the coconut water is lovely in here. Oh, man, I should have bought this. Now watch, I'm not going to find it anywhere. This is absolutely delicious without being too much. There's a slight... Is it sunscreen or is it like sun, sun tan lotion vibe to it that I think is really nice? It's delicious. It's a little floral. This is very lovely very summery but i would also wear this in the fall 
my phone did not record the second part of the video ah, i'm so sorry so recap i got a fragrance from dapper fragrances and they are very intelligent and in which they have um gave me two decants i'm so sad you guys can see my first impressions i was shook no i'm still shook so i definitely going to buy funny enough they sent me hufflepuff which is something i am interested in smelling um and i was interested that i was going to probably buy and now i'm definitely going to buy it today uh because i'm about to go on a no buy for the rest of this month it's my kid's birthday month and i'm just gonna go on a no buy i have too many things to get i'm gonna buy house to see our hufflepuff this is very good it's lemon as well it's lemon in here but the lemon isn't like a booming smell it's it's sweet and it's like a summer thick like think like the thickness in like shoulders or narrows um bum bum cream like it's a thicker but it's not too thick for warm weather like it's like a tropical thick this is absolutely beautiful i love this then they sent me something else i'm going to be buying today i'm probably gonna just try to do just 15 mls because i have so many fragrances um sol de janeiro's bikini season beautiful coconut water uh, I think it's guava nectar in here. Delicious. When I say the word nectar, I feel like nine times out of ten I'm gonna like it. There's something about this, the thickness, the thick, pulpy, almost sweetness of a nectar note in fragrances that I absolutely adore. I'm so sad you guys didn't see my first impressions, but I'm about to go buy these two. And the one I purchased, purchased, was the Acro Bake. Guys, it smells like a lemon uh square and now i kind of want to go find one to eat because i wasn't really big on lemon in my desserts as a child and a young adult um uh, i mean like yeah like my early 20s i wasn't just really interested in that and i'm in my late 20s and i want to revisit that because i like the smell of it and i really like that tart mixed with sweet nowadays this smells uh, like a very realistic lemon like they slice the lemon and squeeze it and then drop the lemon rind in there without being too much this is absolutely delicious but so bright because of all the lemon but there's a, a a thick sweet yumminess that almost reminds me of like um the lena exclusive or the dupe for it which is armoff's club benoit imperial there's something to be said about that delicious. Oh, this is so good. Um, this is so good. This is amazing. I did also put out there that Acro Bake is off. Like, I mean, it's out of stock right now. So I'm going to have to see if they have it somewhere else. But Acro Bake, does, it does offer a 30 ml. For $90. I would like for them to have a 50 ml for like $130. But the 100 ml is almost basically $200, which is a lot. Um, this is. Absolutely delicious. It's lemon peel, rum, chantilly cream, praline, brown sugar, and vanilla. So I'm not sure if they added their notes in here it's delicious it's a lemon it's lemon it's delicious like a lemon square this is absolutely delicious i would even wear this in the fall by itself but if i want to add a little pizzazz to this maybe something with cinnamon in it or this might even be really good to layer with the armoff club their new week imperial white mm -mm anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video if you have smelled any of these fragrances let me know down in the comment section if you intend to purchase them or any of the dupes have you tried dapper fragrances let me know um because this is looking like a dupe house a new rabbit hole i'm gonna have to fall under these are my dua and it goes back i have like 12 dua and then these are my dossiers. I have like 10 dossiers. I go down the rabbit hole and it takes a little while, right? Because I can only buy like two, maybe three fragrances at one time. But that's still racking it in there. 
and I always enjoy that because um as fragrance well if I don't like it like I don't don't like it I haven't really come across fragrance I absolutely hated except for some affordable ones like there wasn't ones that cost me like 50 plus dollars that I'm like absolutely not I don't think so at least so most of my fragrance I like or love but when it comes to like gift giving and stuff if, if like I'm always down for like friends and family to smell my fragrances and I noticed that they were like oh this one smells really good or I think they're gonna like it I'll give that to them too so it does kind of curb some of my fragrance collection anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video don't forget to hit that like button please support your girl in any way that you can um and hopefully I'll see you in my next video bye bye It's got its name, look good, feel good, smell good.